A clash on campus starting before the sun came up today at UNC Chapel Hill. It is still going on as we speak. Just a couple of hours ago, a group of protesters took down the American flag and replaced it with a Palestinian flag. At noon, UNC canceled the rest of today's classes. The university now says 36 protesters were detained this morning, including 16 UNC Chapel Hill students. Now, the protesters want UNC to divest from all the companies that support Israel. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Russ Bowen. And I'm Liz Ortiz. Scenes like this have played out on college campuses all around the country. Some of them have faced accusations of anti Semitism. Washington correspondent Maddie Beer Temple joins us live now. And Maddie, lawmakers are working on a bill to curb anti Semitism. What is the status right now? Hi, Liz. Well, the bill passed its first hurdle this afternoon in the House. And afterwards, Speaker Mike Johnson said that nearly every House committee has a role to play in fighting anti Semitism. But Democrats say it's the colleges that need to act. Protests on college campuses are escalating. At Columbia University, pro-Palestine protesters took over a building early Tuesday, barricading themselves inside. At other colleges, police are clearing encampments and arresting those who won't leave. Lawmakers on Capitol Hill are watching. New York Republican Congresswoman Elise Stefanik says universities have lost control. The pro-Hamas anti-Semitic mob took over an academic building. House Speaker Mike Johnson denounced anti-Semitic chants and conduct toward Jewish students happening during the protests. This is not the free marketplace of ideas. This is open threats to Jewish students because of their faith. New York Republican Congressman Mike Lawler says his Anti-Semitism Awareness Act aims to address that. It adds a definition of anti-Semitism to federal anti-discrimination law. And the rampant anti-Semitism uh, requires action by the federal government. But Democrats say this legislation isn't the answer. New Mexico Democratic Congresswoman Teresa Ledger Fernandez says the bill threatens the right to free speech and protest. We are constitutionally bound to protect free speech, even and more importantly, when it is speech with which we do not agree. California Democratic Congressman Pete Aguilar says colleges should act before Congress. They have guidance, they have rules, uh, they need to enforce those. Now, the next step for this bill is another vote in the House, and that's expected sometime this week. In Washington, I'm Maddie Beer Temple. And Maddie, did the White House respond to today's escalation of the protests? Well, the White House Deputy Press Secretary said that the president respects the right to free expression, but says forcibly taking over a building is not peaceful and hate speech has no place in America. All right, Maddie Beer Temple, Life Rose in Washington. Thanks so much.